Hi everybody, it's Peter Combin here and today I've got with me Sid Nell. Hi Sid. Go Peter. Now, <laughs> well what we are, we're at the Property Expo here in Melbourne. Now, it's not often you come to Melbourne, but it's good to see you. Uh, what I'd like to do today is to ask you some questions to help the people who are watching this video to learn a little bit more about you first and your organisation, Prime Property. So are you happy to answer some questions for us? Certainly am. Okay, well let's go. Um, the first question I want to talk uh, to you about, or the thing I want to talk about, is your experience. Now, as a property investor and now a developer of properties, you've got a lot of strings to your boat. Tell us how you got started firstly and uh, where things are at now. And so give us a bit of a synopsis of your history in property. Certainly. Um, I uh, originally started, I have a military background, and I originally started as an investor as a 19 year old when I invested in uh, a two bedroom unit in Canberra actually. And I've always had a passion for property and I've always actually, pretty much every year, I've been purchasing properties along the way. And when I left the military, it really gave me an opportunity then to uh, to do my, to continue with my passion in, in the form of a business. And in fact, I really started as a business, uh, really providing investment advice, I would say, to clients and actually working with clients and getting them into investment properties. Yeah, so um, that's a, a bit about the start. Now, as an investor, you must have uh, formed an opinion and you've heard a lot of people speak about investing in property. Yes. What are some of the things that the investors who are watching really need to know about investing? Well, I think the uh, primary thing that you need to have as an investor is a strategy. I often uh, use this analogy in all my uh, seminars that uh, buy, uh, having an investment strategy is like buying a house. Okay? You wouldn't actually start building a house without a plan to build that house. What you do first is get a plan, get it approved, make sure the bank was going to fund it, which is nice as well, before you start building. Mm. 